Hey folks, this is Alec Kermit. I'm about to test something that I've wanted to test for quite a long time now, and that is how long will a Nintendo 64 last with absolutely zero cooling? Now don't worry, this is one of the many Nintendo 64s that I own, um, and I was also planning on using this motherboard in an art project later on, so it was going to become useless anyway. Um, the uh, cartridge I'm going to use is Mario Kart 64. As you can see, it's kind of beat up, so no big loss there. I think I paid 50 cents for that at a garage sale a while back. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, I'm going to be using a standard jumper pack. And yeah, let's get this show on the road. I'm going to be recording um, the video on my screen, and I'm going to prop this camera to... Uh, to zoom in on the chips themselves so you can see if any activity is going on um, with the chips. Now with a modern PC or um, a modern video game console um, the system probably wouldn't last more than an, about 25 seconds or so um, so we'll see how long the uh, Nintendo 64 lasts. So let me just prop this camera here and I'll get a good angle on the chips. All right, and turn power on. I haven't played this in a long time. I'm used to playing on the uh, virtual console, so this is kind of weird. Seems to be fine so far. First race completed without any issues whatsoever. Um, I did notice a graphical glitch on the road, like I said, but it happened both laps in the same spot, so I think it was just a Nintendo 64 thing. I think I could see the blocks like through the road ahead. So let's go on to the second race. This is pretty amazing. I am sitting here playing through an entire cup of Mario Kart 64 without any cooling whatsoever on the Nintendo 64. It's just completely bald. And I'm having no slowdown, no sound issues, no artifacting going on. Just a slightly odd smell. And that is the end of the cup. <laughs> so, there you go. Nintendo 64 without any cooling whatsoever, completing an entire cup of Mario Kart 64. Alright guys, so since Mario Kart 64 did nothing to overheat the system at all, I've upped the ante to perfect dark. Now this is probably the most strenuous game on the Nintendo 64. It's got high res mode, it's got motion blur, it's got complex AI, so if this doesn't do it, nothing will. Um, I've also popped in an expansion pack so we can do the high res mode, and I'm going to be playing the first mission of Perfect Dark, um, which, if you guys remember, is quite laggy, um, even when not in high res mode, so this will be a true test. Alright, so here we go. Flip it on. 
comes up and I'll prop the camera. All right, I, on I honestly don't think this will last very long. Why the big hurry? Dr. Carl is not extracted tonight. Data time will put him through mind control. All right, let's try a different level. There's those particle effects that the N64 hates so much. So, I think you guys get the message. You can play a Nintendo 64 with absolutely no cooling whatsoever, just a bare motherboard, and you can play the most strenuous game for the entire system. I think that's pretty amazing. I played a good 15 to 20 minutes of perfect dark on this Nintendo 64 with absolutely no cooling, in high res mode, it's got motion blur, and with 8 AI players running around. and. That is truly amazing. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching my video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I still have a working N64. Pretty amazing. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Bye.